it can require a little bit of force to get these on. <laughs> Again, snug it up really good, but the way these fittings are made, they have one barb, so you're clamping over here, you're just trying to keep it from sliding over that so it doesn't have to be super duper tight. And here I try to keep it away from the barb so that it's not pushing right on it and won't tend to cut the hose. I do try to keep the tightening bolt straight up and down. Make it a little easier to get to. And same thing for the top one. Try to get that technique in there very nicely done. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just get up. I forgot to mention earlier, these are stainless steel clamps, so they do should hold up relatively well. Okay. Now, this one, you need to bend the, the uh, clamp straight up because it's going to fit right next to that power steering line. So you need this out of the way so it's not touching anything. Then, I'm going to mark a spot down in here and kind of wiggle to get the hoses down in there and get the cooler. Don't force anything, just take your time. Going to realize that you're putting it in there that's going to stop. It's because this bottom hose clamp is catching on the grill, the plastic work on the grill, and it's just to the inside of this little support on the grill. So, what we're going to do is pop the cooler back out. Basically, this is where your cooler will hang if you decide to change park plugs. Yeah, hang it off to the side, and then you can go ahead and tilt your radiator so you can get the spark oh, plugs in there. That's how you do that. Okay. Here's where the rat tail file comes in. I don't know what size or what brand or anything it is. It's one I happen to have. It's about half inch diameter, and it's a rasp actually. It's not really a file. This goes right in beside where you need that extra little notch in the plastic. And some people are squeamish about doing this, but gotta be done. Gotta be done. It's plastic, it's not extremely difficult to do. Try to keep it as vertical as possible. actually a notch down in through there. You can knock off the little pieces of plastic. And if it's in the right place and we did it all right, the cooler should just slide right down in there and that hose clamp should fit the notch. Occasionally I have to fine tune, but occasionally I get lucky too. Pretty close. We're going to move our hose just a tad to get it all lined up. But it all fits. All fits together. So now, a couple of little tie wraps. Any size. Uh, I don't know about all brands, but I know that on 3M, the black ones have UV protection built in, the white ones don't. So I tend to use the black ones. Now, how would you know that? <laughs> uh, read it online. Okay. <laughs> and I happened to work there uh -huh. for a couple of years. 
<laughs> and you try to get this through the hole underneath your little piece of hose and then back right out on the top. It's easier if you use your needle nose to grab the end of that tire wrap, pull it back out. And I do it from that way because then when you cinch this up after it's in position, you have a nice little square fitting there. This one can be a little more difficult because it's usually just a tiny bit closer. Didn't give me any trouble this time though. Snug it right up against that. A lot of folks cut these tire wraps off with dikes. I don't like it because it leaves a little sharp edge. And I don't like sharp edges. So I use a razor knife. Try to cut it off smooth. And the cooler's in. Very good. All right. Now all we have to do is remove the old one. We'll have to do a little bit of work on the uh, upper piece of grill when we get ready to put it in. But we're 60% done probably. I want to make real sure you have the right line before you cut a hole in it. Not one you're going to need for something and then try to get it where it, just before it gets to the corner, so you can get the fairly straight for the connection. And then, uncut off. And we can kind of pull it back here out of the way. That allows us to pull the cooler back forward a little bit where we can hopefully get to the other one. You do want to be careful of this vacuum line here. If it's in the way, you might want to try to disconnect it and then but just make sure you hook it up when you're done kind of twist and turn and however it'll come because it'll really snug in here. This must be the part where you donate a little blood. Nah, not usually. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just have to... So, sometimes you can finesse it much, much easier than you can force it. Turn there. Okay. Come on. This is the suspenseful part of the program. Yeah. Come on out. You can do it. Okay. This is our other hose. Again, you want to try to get a relatively straight piece of it. And here we have the garbage that Volkswagen puts in there. That's supposed, to, with 180 degree water going in, that's supposed to control your transmission. 180 to 200 water going in supposed to keep your transmission at less than 212 degrees. It's not much. It sure isn't. This, Looks like an ashtray. Okay, this is the newer one. It's a six pass exchanger. The older ones on the 01 and back Rialtas were a four pass heat exchanger. So they didn't even have this much capacity. Mm. It doesn't even make it